Well, school is back in session, and we all know that peer pressure is a common reason why some high schoolers try alcohol. Now, sometimes it's to the point of binge drinking. So just how dangerous is this act, and who's most likely to do it? Well, fortunately, our CBS 47 medical expert, Dr. Gayathri Dave, joins us live in the studio. So first of all, what is binge drinking? Well, good afternoon, Rachel and Justin. This study suggests that extreme binge drinking is on the rise in high schoolers and it explains the increased risk rate of hospitalizations that we see in this age group and binge drinking occurs when the blood alcohol reaches a level of 0.08 and it occurs typically in men after five or more drinks in a row and in women after four or more drinks in a row over a period of two hours 10 or more drinks greatly increases the blood alcohol level and 15 or more drinks is considered extreme binge drinking. Yeah, that sounds almost lethal. Yeah, so what did the study find? This study looked at 16,000 high school seniors from the classes of 2005 to 2011 and it asked them about their behavior over, including their drinking behavior, and it found that 20% of the teenagers drank five or more drinks in a row, 10% reported drinking, 10 or more drinks in a row and 5% reported drinking 15 or more drinks in a row. So we're talking about high schoolers. Well, who's the most likely to binge drink? Are we talking about, you know, athletes, the cool kids? Is there a, a stereotype and, and who is it? Well, Rachel, in this study, the, the kids that were more likely to binge drink were young men compared to young women kids that lived in rural areas compared to large metropolitan cities and teenagers of white ethnic background compared to african-american children and it occurred more frequently during sporting events birthday celebrations local or national holidays uh, or spring break so quickly do, um, what are the main risks i mean we all know this is not good for you but what could happen worst case scenario rachel it's a good idea for parents to be aware of the risks and discuss them with, with their teenager which include injury or death from accidents alcohol poisoning sexual assault and in the long term it can increase the risk of alcohol dependence liver damage and it affects the development of a brain of a young person which continues until their 20s all right, thank you, Dr. Dave, for that. You're welcome. We will be right back.